here's my honest review. First, let me tell you, I'm loyal to Royal. I've been on Carnival before, and I can only be honest about this particular ship. So let's get into it. Hey, everybody, my name is G Brown, G Brown, the lifestyle changer, and I went on a girls' cruise for 2024. Uh, we've done this before in the past. We've been on Royal. This time they said we had to be on Carnival, and meaning the group, wanted to be on Carnival. So I want to give an honest, honest, honest review of this ship. The ship I was on was the, uh, the Liberty. The problem was before I even got on the ship. So let's start with getting on the ship. I was so embarrassed for myself, and I you can't embarrass me easily, I felt like a hardened criminal. I'm just being honest. I felt like a hardened criminal. Do you know, here I am thinking I'm getting on the ship. I'm walking in, and then all of a sudden, they tell me, stop, turn around, sit your bag down, back up, and here come dogs. Really? I understand what you're trying to do, I, I, I guess, but everybody doesn't fall into that category. And so now I'm highly offended prior to even walking on the ship. But that's enough on that one. Maybe you like it. I didn't, okay? Royal doesn't treat me that way, but let's stick to this ship. All right, so now look at this footage. Uh, I'm going into the room right now. And in the room, uh, it was my daughter and I, so we had the uh, double beds. Now, I will say this. I did an inside cabin because we were going to be out of the room. Stay tuned because I have an awesome tip for cruising at the end of this video. But now let's get back. So the room, there was plenty of drawer space. Uh, I can see where you can unpack and all is well. But look at the bathroom. Okay, so I have not had a flashback to that. Uh, if they want me on the design team, just say so. And now I'm feeling ashamed to even show you guys the footage of the ship itself because on camera, it looks good. In person, I was like, it was very dreary to me. And the ship was chopped up. I am used to an open forum, almost like going into a house with an open floor plan. You like that. You are able to see. How is this a small ship? And I'm a seasoned traveler. I get lost several times, several times on this ship. Yeah, so that didn't work for me either. Now, in the midst of saying all of that, I need you to hear me. Look. Come on in closer. It was the best cruise I ever had. Ah, Y'all wasn't ready for that. You were not ready for that. That was the best freaking cruise I had. And when I say that, I'm only one level away from the highest on Royal. Yeah. Pinnacle is my next one. So with that being said, baby, let me tell you who this ship is for. This ship is for, now, I ain't lying. I probably won't go back on this one, but I ain't throwing Carnival away, honey. Yes, because let me, mm, 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 mm. We had a good time. Anything I thought of doing with my sister friends, we did it. I stayed up late. I just, oh, I came back with no voice. Oh, my God. And some of this I can't show y'all because what happened on the ship stay on the ship. But Carnival, baby, y'all know how to have fun. Now, I said that to say Carnival, I have not been on some of their newer ships, their larger ships. I haven't. Will I go back? Of course I will. But I won't go with my normal crew. It has to be a group, a group, even if it's married couples. It has to be a group group, eight or more. That's what I'm looking for. Or put them girls together again. Mm. Baby, when I say to you, we cut up, we cut up. We had a good time. We had, look at some of this footage, y'all. Now I'll say it again. This is what I was going to say earlier. I did an inside cabin and here's why. When you are on 
a, a girl's trip or family reunion, any of those things, you're not going to be in the room. I made that mistake so many times in the past of having the balcony or a, a junior suite. There's a time and place for that. And me with my husband is the time and the place. But if I'm on a larger ship, I want an inside cabin because I'm, I I won't be in the room. And then a lot of times people, you know, they say, well, what about, you know, you just want to step out on the balcony. Baby, all of the ship up top is out in the open. So go right ahead. Wear yourself some comfortable pajamas. Wear yourself a sundress. Put your swimsuit on. Walk around in your moo If that's what you choose to do. Ain't nobody finna bother you. Ain't nobody getting ready to cut up. And let me just say this about the food, because everybody want to know about the food for sure. They have the best hamburger I've had on or off a ship, except for probably my own. But most definitely on a ship, number one, and most definitely outside of my house where I paid for one. I don't know what they in there doing to them smash burgers. I kid you not, but they got that thing on lock. All right, Royal, you can learn from Carnival in a couple of areas. What is another area? You can learn from Royal. I mean, Royal, you can learn from <laughs> Carnival in regards to that party. Baby, okay, when you're in a club, you just, you kind of doing your own thing. DJ, you know, he doing his part. It's the people around the ship. And so where, where I was supposed to go to bed, because I was driving back, uh, on that last night in the morning, I was the designated driver. So I was going to go to bed. Why did they have a Motown showdown? Baby, why? Please tell me. Because y'all know that. If you don't know, I'm turning 60 in like less than 15 days. Uh, this is my road to 60. That's what that trip was about. Why? Because it was a girl's trip. I have been enjoying my road to 60. And when I say to you, we had a phenomenal time we had a phenomenal time so this ship is for anybody that wants to uh have fun when they say the fun ship and i'm trying to think because i really didn't do a lot of drinking or anything so i don't know how that service was pretty much i went and got my burgers uh oh and then they had this seafood on on, on the ship you know we like some seafood so you can go there so i ended up with the crab legs uh the shrimp dripping in butter, them burgers. Yeah, that was like, that I will go back for. But the only time I'm gonna go is like when the girls wanna do. Oh, I could do that. I am not kidding. I can do that joker every weekend. Every weekend. I had the best time on water. I just did not. I wasn't crazy about the ship. I understand older ships. For me, it had more to do with, I got lost several times did not understand why uh well you know some choppiness could not find like where i went back to went to eat didn't know if i was coming left or right um yeah i didn't and then too on their behalf i ain't trying to learn it either because i kept saying I ain't coming back but i did not like the bathroom and it smelled really bad like the the stench not like a person, but sewage type stench. And I reported it and normally, and I should have done it because I can see myself back on carnival, but I didn't pursue it because I said I wasn't coming back. Y'all can have that. So you treated me like a convict coming on and then you had me in a room smelling like beep while I was in there and I said something to you. So I would have to be in a different head space example a girl's cruise uh maybe even a family reunion if you got some good family members that's just willing to have a good time and see it was us girls and we were there to have a good time baby i was the backup uh dancer and for all the karaoke people we had we had a blast we had a blast we had a blast and then uh i think it was the motown that just solidified it for me last night like i said i was supposed to be going to bed i didn't go to bed because they started with motown and why did they split that ship up 
they put this side as the Supremes. Diana Ross and the Supremes. Okay, and on this side, we had the Commodores. Y'all already know. I was on the Commodore side. It was okay. But I didn't know that there was, you know, for participation type thing. I didn't know. Honey, let me tell you something. The people uh, three, four stories up was singing them songs with me. You hear me? And then there was a high school reunion. One of the women say she was 72. So I don't know when you get to a certain age, do they combine? Like if you still living from 68 on up here, this is your high school reunion because that's what it is, was for them. And I had I wouldn't even let them go to bed. Y'all, I, I can't tell y'all everything that happened, but I won. Uh, I sure did. They ended up with a bottle of champagne and everything. Carnival, you guys truly know how to treat people on the ship in regards to entertainment. You have, I, I can say, you are probably the best out on the sea for individual entertainment. But I'm getting ready to go on uh, Virgin. The all adult ship. Um, I will see. And I'll be celebrating my 60th birthday. I will see what's going on. We got that one in, like I said, less than 15 days. Uh, well, I ain't tell you that part. No, it's in 15 days. Um, and then, and then after that, I have back to back my anniversary, my wedding anniversary. Uh, we're going to renew our vows 20 years in. I will have that one. And once again, the atmosphere is different. And I will always make reference back to this ship and time because we still inbox each other y'all ready to go back y'all ready to go back oh my god so let me just say this take a look at some of the footage i put some more pictures and stuff like that we had a blast and if you've never put together a girl's cruise i don't care how old you are you need to don't let this life pass you by and you and your friends didn't do what y'all need to do I hope you enjoy. Even twice, you don't see all of our stuff. I'm gonna give you a joke. Christopher Columbus came out of jail in 1492, told the world that he discovered the Bahamas. We don't worry about him, you know, cause the whole world know he got lost trying to find Asia. But one thing the world did not know, that he was the first tourist to the Bahamas from Genoa, Italy. And he made the world know that once is not enough, cause he still had to come back for some count salad, peas and rice and go over there. And like they say, we're gonna go next year. We're gonna visit down to the Bahamas. We have 700 islands in the we sun, 31 and a half to 2,400 rock and keys. Folks, choose one. And when you live in your residence again, you folks who get grandmama doors at home, I want you to give a hug and a kiss to the island boy. If you don't, 